Hey, welcome back to another episode of the My Drunk Uncles Podcast. We got a stellar episode today. I got my two favorite co-hosts with me. I got, uh, you know, Bobby. What's up, dude? <laughs> and, and how's it going, bro? And fucking dude. insane clown posse, Jessica, don't, dude. Why, oh, fucking sideshow, Bob. Dude. Come why'd you like do that? your hair like that? What are we doing here? Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to right, us. Like, why are you why are you pouring uh, bacon grease down the sink every morning? What are you going through right now? Talk to me. You all right? Are you all right? I'm, I like it. Yeah, right? Like, fuck you with your lunch lady haircut, dude. Whoa, dude. Okay, yeah. very aggressive. Yeah, cute earring. Hey, pussy. thank you. Gives me the magical powers. Hey, without further ado, though, let's get to the real topic on hand. Uh, my next guest really needs no introduction. He's one of the craziest people in the entire world. He's completely sober now. He's going to become a worse person. I really wish I could have got him on earlier in my career. But y'all give it up for no other than the fabulous, wonderful, up-and-coming stand-up killer, Jason fucking Ellis. How we doing, old son? Wow, yeah. pretty casual. You like that, huh? Yeah. Hey, we're in it. I, I'm casual, but I don't have fucking head tattoos. You know what I'm saying? But fuck me. Right? You got time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time I didn't have that. Yeah? I had some sweet haircuts when what? I didn't, too. Yeah? What fuck was your, uh, your favorite? My favorite was, and it's embarrassing now, but it, fuck it. Uh, Metallica, there was a time where Metallica, before they cut all their hair off, they had fucking long hair, long hair and Cliff died, and Jason Newstead was the bass player, and Jason shaved the side, so he had a mohawk, but he had such a tremendous uh, amount of hair that he could look like if he tucked it behind his ear, he still just had normal long hair, but if he tied the back up like Mo uh, Mohican style, yeah. he fucking had like a mohawk. So I had a mohawk, and I dyed my hair black, so I had a black mohawk. <laughs> Jet black Shit, mohawk. Fuck nice. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I bet you were just slamming all kinds of pussy. Yeah, I fucked too. everybody for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> just, just the, mo, the Mohican, bro. Yeah, the back, it lasted the most. Hey, when was when would you consider? Because I mean, just in the car with you, I mean, you, you you've lived a little bit. It's fair to say you've lived a little bit. What was your favorite time period? Now, I, I literally thought you would say that, dude. You look yeah. fucking great, dude. I'm stronger than I've ever been. I'm faster than I've ever been. If, if I fought all the errors of Jason Ellis, I would knock him the fuck out right now. No shit. Yeah, easy. I see you I on beat up, I beat up 25-year-olds in my gym now, and after they like, and I'll go easy. Like, I could, feel, I could like, put them, put them to sleep if I want. Yeah. But I wear them out, and then when the bell goes, like, they'll drop for get, to get some air. I dance salsa over them. I'm 52. And I do it on purpose. And my You're coach 52 looked at years me. old. He's 52, yeah. bro. Wow. He looks fucking incredible. Not on he looks phenomenal. And, bro, he and the boy lived. You know what I'm saying? Like, that gives me hope. He's been road hard and put up wet. It's like stem like, cells There's or a something? thing. Oh, yeah. Fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. I did yeah. that. But, that, but that's my body. Like, because I've tore. I broke right. I broke over 50 bones. I've been knocked out over 30 times. I've tore, like, all, all kinds of ligaments. I got a dead man's fucking MCL in here with, oh, with carbon fiber and titanium. So I snapped my tailbone off, like broke ribs, face, oh nose, God. jaw, everything. I had my God teeth damn. snapped out. I forgot a big lump on the back of my head because I fractured my skull and made it a different shape in the back. And my friend tattooed the eagle on the back and put the beak where the fucking bump is. <laughs> that's awesome, yeah, that's dude. Fucking, that's dude, I can tell. Oh, shit. Pretty yeah. cool, right? That's fucking awesome, yeah, dude. It's got to hit a It's a lot cooler than your haircut. Dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I would take your fucking haircut over mine, just yeah. so you know. Yeah. So no, you, bro you broke 50? 50. 50? Both? Over fifty, I stopped counting once it got to that. Is a lot, a lot of that like tied to skateboarding, or are you just like a yeah, lunatic? mainly skateboarding. Yeah, motor. I was into motocross, like and it wasn't that good. Like I wasn't like you know like the the Chad Reeds of the world. I was like a a rat. Like I was like I want to be Chad Reed, but I was already a professional skateboarder. Yeah. So when I got into Supercross, I started going to motocross tracks and trying to be like them and dr jumping triples and shit. Like I got sponsored by Kawasaki. Because Kawasaki, the guys at the t on the team, they listened to the satellite show. No shit. And they were like, Ellis, we want to get you a bike. And I was like, shut the fuck up. And they were like, come in. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, we'll put some tricky shit on it if you want. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. And then the lady that's like in charge of like the proper team, she's like, so anyway, I'm so and so. And like, let me show you around. And like, would you yeah. like an exhaust system? I'm like, yeah, I would love an exhaust system. And then those guys are like, we'll hook you up. We'll put some t titanium parts on your bike. So now my bike is just a fucking beast. I'm hanging out with like, Villapoto. Yeah. And then and then I'm like, uh, I want to jump this. Because I lived in Elsinore and there was this fucking dirty triple. It's like 120 feet. And it was a mean one. And I'd see pros jump it with ease. And I'm like, that's what I want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just rah, and fucking whip over. I was like, I just, I just muscle memory. You know what I mean? I'm an athlete. Fuck it. If you're not scared, you can make it. That's my theory. Yeah. 
So I, <laughs> so I go in there to Kawasaki to get my bike, and it's all tricked up. It's got a race start on it. So, like, you know, it holds the front forks down for race starts. Oh, I shit. race, like, fucking five times in my life. I don't need that fucking thing, but I got it just in case. So I, I got this fucking race start thing. I got all, my suspension yeah. stiffened because I told them I'm going to jump this jump. And they're like, fuck, Alice is going to jump that jump. It's fucking crazy, right? I'm talking about it on the radio. <laughs> I get to Kawasaki, I get the bike, I fucking take the bike, get in my truck, I drive there, I'm there putting my gear on, I get a phone call, and it's like, hey man, you need to take this. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, hello? He's like, hey man, it's Ryan. I'm like, Ryan who? Villapoto. I'm like, oh shit, what's up, Poto? Hey man, people are telling me you're trying to jump that fucking 120 foot triple today. I'm like, yeah man, I'm padding up right now. Dude, you've got kids, don't do it. And I'm like, as you're padding up, and I'm like, I'm putting my fucking boots on right now, dude. <laughs> like, I'm doing it, and I don't need this bullshit from you <laughs> right before I go off it because it's over. Like, I'm, f I've already gone as far as I'm, I'm concerned. In. Oh, yeah. yeah. So then I go with a guy who's a pro, <laughs> and I follow him, and he just, he didn't look like he gassed it that hard when he took off. So I didn't. And as soon as I took off, I was like. <laughs> Oh, you got to be fucking shitting me. I'm coming up short. Oh, no. And I land on the oh. knuckle on the front of it, and it and it, it bounces perfectly to, like, this weird, like, I, I'm in the air, and then the front comes up, and my feet come off the pegs, and I'm like, nope. And I grab back onto the bike, and it lands on the back wheel, and I go, and fucking wobble out. So I landed on the case, the inside of it, bounced all the way over the landing, and landed on the flat pass it, and made it. What? Holy like shit. somehow made, somehow rolled away. I roll off down the track, pissed. Because I'm like, fuck, I got to do it again. And I come back around. No, you didn't. Fuck yeah, dude. Dude, like, let's fucking go. Oh, it's on fucking, fucking YouTube. I fucking jumped that shit. He almost dies. But he goes, you know what? Do it again. No, be, no because <laughs> because I because I did it wrong, I knew exactly what to do. Because I time. saw how far I needed to go. And I was like, oh. What I did was incorrect. Yeah, I just seen a gas. But now I know the answer. I was just like, rah, and went flying over it, no problem. But the one before, Sketchy. I was like, because that's the thing with moto and skateboarding. Skateboarding, it's like, you're fine, and then you're not. Moto, there's jumps where you go, oh, oh, fuck, oh, oh, man. dude, I could call my mom and say I love her. Like, I got time, but because yeah. before that, because the crashes, some, 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 of those, some of those crashes, when you take off, you know you're fucked. And yes, those like, so it's like two seconds, but those two seconds, when you're in shit, everything slows down. Yeah. So two <laughs> seconds feels like 20 Eternity, minutes, dude. Yeah. You're like, cause you want to get off and you're like, dude, the, the law of moto is like, if you get off, you're going to break yourself you're harder. Fuck yourself up. Yeah. Let the suspension take the hit. But you're just, you just want to, you just want to run, paddle, get out. Like, yeah. But you stay you on it. Sit in it. I broke both my ankles doing it. I fucking broke both my elbows. I saw a guy jump a jump, and I didn't know that he was who he was at the time. He had a helmet on. I don't know. I was high all the time too. But he goes rap rap and jumps this like little triple at uh, Paris Raceway. And I literally said with my fingers, I went rap rap, and I was like, yeah, that's how you do that. And I go rap and I'm like, that's not the same sound. And I'm sideways and I land on the landing sideways and it shoots me sideways with my arms crossed into the other landing, broke both my elbows, uh, oh my lacerated kidney, Ugh. and then uh, I broke some ribs. And then uh, six, three months later, this is when I was still a pro skateboarder, I went back to jump it again because I was like, fuck that, I'm making it. Now I know what to do. And I did the same thing. Rebroke both my elbows, dislocated. Three my months later. Yeah, so six months I was out of skating, and my I got I lost a sponsor and shit. But the second time when I got to the hospital, this nurse was like flirting with me. She wasn't very hot, but she was whatever. <laughs> hey, 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 Mac. She wasn't very hot. Just put. I'm just. I'm just because I don't want to make it sound out like it was like you know. What I mean, oh yeah. no way. But it was like it was like. Oh <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Like a five or a six, like a five or a six. I don't want to be. It was, it was like a, it was like a four. Oh shit! Yeah. Shit, but she I'll had like it. a cool haircut, yeah, yeah. so I don't know. Like, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> hey, it was a guy. <laughs> it was a girl. It was a, this was before. Anyway, I get a phone call, and I'm like a phone call in the hospital, and I'm like, hello. She goes, hey. It's the nurse that's been taking care of you. I, I didn't want to say it in front of the doctors, but if you need help when you get back to your house, I would gladly come over and help you. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, you can help me. Yeah. And then, because I got 
double sling. You know what I mean? So yeah, I can't, yeah, you I can't, can't fucking. Yeah, how do you yeah. wipe your ass? I, can't, I, can't, I fucking no, just, I took it off. You're thinking about wiping your ass? Dude, you just can't kill what's already dead. That's all, that's all it is. You're took, fucking you just, callous, You just bro. go, ah, ah, You're supposed yeah. to feed the geese, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she blew me, and I couldn't come because I was on so many painkillers. And I was like, let's fuck. And she was like, are you sure you'd be able to do that? And I was like, <laughs> I'm. With two broken. <laughs> I, dude, I, I. I took. I was on so many pills, and it, like I was, I I held on to her a little bit. She was a large lady too, but I was like, yeah, I had my ha- hands kind of like hovering over her butt a little bit, like I kind of T Rex arms. I kind of fucked it like a kangaroo. Yeah, yeah, I like that. But I, I got see, it done. I could literally visualize it right yeah. now. That's, that's cool. awesome. Yeah, that's yeah dude. Sure. Well, that's but then after that, <laughs> I just used the shower to wash my butt. I got the. The, t- the the tap from the bathtub, I squat and turn the bathtub tap on, so I, like, reverse bidet myself. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think I had a dirty ass for, like, two months. Oh, my God. So you mean, like, the little thing, that the spigot that sticks out, you kind of just... I, I would just, like, get, squat, and, like, arch my back under it and turn it on full bore so I would, like, kind of blow the <laughs> shit off. I, I'm going to be honest with you, that reminds me, uh, puberty's a weird age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I remember... My mama's house, she had one that stuck out, like, very long. Yeah. Longer than normal. So I put my legs up against the wall, and yeah. I get under it and have it just hit my center of my wiener. I don't know Dude, why. the first time I got, uh, what is it? Water Fucking, pressure. Water what's pressure. The, what's the lice on your dick? Crabs. 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 The first time I got crabs. <laughs> lice on your lice dick. On your dick. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I got crabs, I tried to handle that shit incognito by myself. You know what I mean? Because I was too young to like tell anybody, hey, I got crabs. What do I do? How, who gets crabs? In? I always thought that was a I got myth. crabs never... three times. Oh! <laughs> I got crabs once from a toilet bowl, once from sleeping in my friend's bed without Ew. him in it, and then another one from having sex with a lady. Yeah, but, I don't think, I ain't know crabs exist anymore. I, I, well, I'm old, dude. The, like, crabs was a thing. When Back in the kid. day. What when I was 17, I got crabs. But the first time I got it, I got the lotion, and I can't read. Like, I could... <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I can do it now, but back then, f- dude. I, when I first came to America, I was sponsored by Planet Earth, and to get into the McGill skate park for free, you have to write down your board sponsor. I would wear a Planet Earth T-shirt without fail because I couldn't spell Planet Earth. I had a wrist guard <laughs> in my car, so when I signed checks at the bank, I put the wrist guard on and say I can't write, even though I'm fucking left-handed anyway. But are I you left-handed? Be, yeah. I'm left-handed too. But I'm, I may as well be both because they both don't Amphibious, work. Amphibious, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, if I sign it either way, it doesn't make no difference. Yeah, dude. If I write some shit, you'd be like, what the Let fuck? Is this Morse paw- code? I'm like, it's Todd code, <laughs> motherfucker. Let me just put my paw print. Yeah, yeah. It'd be easier. Yeah. But, yeah, the first time I put it on, I didn't read that you'd like, you just put a little bit on, you know? Yeah. I just poured the bottle on my oh. dick and on my balls. Crazy burning. And that's what triggered that story because I got in the shower, I had the cold water, and I was on my back with my fucking balls in the air with the cold water on my balls. After I'd wiped it all off on the towel, still burning. Oh, uh, no. I was panicking, but I didn't want to panic. I couldn't tell anyone, hey, I think I melted my balls because I got crabs. <laughs> I didn't want to say, any, hey, everyone, I got crabs. So I just took the fucking panic in the shower, waiting for it to fucking calm down. I was like, how much longer will I take the burn before I go, you know, hey, stepmom? Hey, <laughs> I've got crabs. I'm in trouble. I need, I mean, I need I medical need attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need an adult. That is nuts. It's yeah. hard to tell people when you're freaking out, panic attacks. Like, because yeah. they make it worse. Like, I thought I got, when we was doing some blow the other night, I broke the cardinal rule. I bought it for someone I didn't know that that well. You got to watch that these days, aren't you? You do. And, but it was at the comedy club. He, he <laughs> did it. A couple of my other homies did it. We're all fine. And then all of a sudden, we go to this next bar, and I start, like, feeling, like, sick. And I go in the bathroom, I start dry heaving. And I'm like hot. Oh. My body's hot. And I go, fuck, it's fentanyl. I'm dying. Yeah. I'm like, I'm dying. I'm like, I know I got good cocaine back at the house. Let yeah. me go back to the house and try that and just test this theory. Interesting theory. It, well, so I, so I I didn't want to tell nobody. I just said, hey, man, I got to see a lady. Yeah. And I'm going to go. Yeah. And I got home and I started doing that good cocaine in my bathroom. Felt great. Started playing Fixed fucking it. FIFA, just hanging out in the zone. And I ran out of the good cocaine. So I started doing the bad cocaine again. Felt like oh, shit instantly. My God. And I woke up the next morning and I was throwing up blood. And I was like, fuck, I need to go to the hospital. I went to the hospital. Turns out, had nothing to do with cocaine. It's all them fucking street tacos we've been eating. All the hot sauce gave me a fucking ulcer in my oh, stomach. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what caused yeah, it. Yeah, that hot fucking, that, that little, little hot, the hottest yeah. sauce will fuck It'll you up. It'll fuck your shit. But I'm sure the cocaine serious. fucks up your Well, yeah, I'm sure right. yeah. I wanted to jump in for that, yeah. Cocaine might have had a little bit. Of <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah, you just giving hot sauce a, yeah, a pretty name. fucking yeah, bad like bubbling. I don't know if it was entirely hot sauce's uh, fault. You know what, dude? It checks out. So, 
<laughs> yeah, dude. How was the... So, I pick him up from the airport today in my... Uh, Transgender, yeah, you know, like transgender. Your shit is gay than me. That guy is gay than me. That's Kona. the show. It's yeah. Kona. He had it's no he, idea it was you. He no, was like looking for a different car. And yeah, go, hey, he man, called himself out before I came out of the airport. He's like, just so you know, I'm in a gay ass green car. <laughs> yeah, I go. It's a Kiwi like, line well, car. I see it. Yeah. Wait, do I see a bunch of dudes sucking each other off over there? Oh no, it's just fucking lazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, me and me and Mike and the boys, Dirty Mike and the boys, having a soup kitchen in the back, dude. Yeah. But your big, your big cat, your Western wear now, dude. He come out in a cat, fucking. The wrong hat. Oh, fuck, he's got a, got you a looking felt hat. I got a winter cap on. I didn't know. Oh, he's got a right. felt, nice felt. Yeah. Well, Bobby, you, Bobby don't really abide by the rules either. Yes, I do. You look like you got capris on. Well, it's because I rolled up, I cuffed up my shit because look at my nails. You know what I'm saying? That's good. I got the fucking chameleon Komodo. Are you gay? Huh? <laughs> I don't know yet. You got a seashell? That's you got why. a seashell? <laughs> Puka bracelet? shell. I, I let you. Puka yeah. shell? Puka shell. You is got that, a puka shell? It was, actually is that my, like a, it was my cousin's who you passed away. You got Birkin socks? Like, you don't give a fuck, huh? Zero. Zero fucks hey, given. Hey, I, I want these women to hey, know that my feet look that's good. That's a good that's color, though. Those, those are a good you. color. Let me tell you something. Boy just throws dick. Yeah. Just th- I mean. I mean, that's kind of half the thing is. If you believe in yourself, you can wear anything. That's it, baby. It's like you could, if you could carry it. Because I, I got that. Like, I wear overalls. I wear a Speedo. I wear whatever the fuck I wore. I, I wear a leather jacket. You, you're sucking it. Dude, yeah, there you go. I love that. Yeah, I mean, you just know, when you fucking know, you know. Whenever you when you jump, you know you're gonna fucking go, and either you're yeah. gonna land it or you're not. Yeah, we're landing the cock suck. And if you don't land it, thank God for this extra suspension they put on there, so you can circle back around and nail. I wish my wiener had extra What's suspension up, on it. Yeah, I wish my wiener worked. Like go go gadget. You know, what I mean, do you ever mm. think about that? I'm like, damn, if I could just like Bye-bye. just like a half more of an inch would be perfect. You know, it'd be cool. I don't. You know. <laughs> <laughs> You know what would be cool then if you could just like come without actually having to stay over? Eh? What? Like, you know, you know. Elaborate, bro. No, I know. I kind of get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like, I, like, I want to fuck you, right? But I yeah. don't want to do the whole song and dance. I don't want to be here for hours and playing fucking piddle paddle. Okay? Oh, We're okay. adults, you know? Yeah. I just feel like, hey, you know, I just come over and boom. Let's yeah, I don't want to hear that. I'll call him on Uber. I'll see myself out. Well, that's, see, that's the, it's a it's a shame you're not gay because the, 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 <laughs> the homos love that style. Dude, I got a gay roommate. He's a yeah. teacher. hang out with guys. I got a gay sure. roommate, a gay comic, handsome young man. I think he was sexually assaulted by Andy Dick when he was 19. He told right. me that story. Who hasn't? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I know. I mean, if but, you haven't met him, then maybe you haven't. But if you have, then it probably happened. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, if you don't get inside here and suck my dick, you don't know what's good for your career or some shit like that. <laughs> to, to the effect. See, everything was fine until you said career. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm insulted. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but he told me, he because he's on them little little date naps, the little gay yeah, date naps. Yeah, grinder. Hey, other day he met up with some dude in our neighborhood. He just went over there and blew him. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. they ain't got no. But and I got, dude, that's got how it. I got, you know, that's how I got into it, right? I had a bunch of, dude, I do it in my set now. Like, well, I had a bunch of girls that I was with, porn girls, tattooed chicks. Like, she was talking about, yeah. like, blood play bitches and stuff. Yeah. A lot of witches, you know? Yeah. And they're all blowing, they're all fucking me, and they're, you know I mean? they're <laughs> all hot as fuck. And they're like, uh, Jason, do you know about Grinder? And I'm like, no. And they're like, it's an app for gay guys. And they'll, you like, you go on there, they'll just come over and blow you. And I'm like, for free. And they're like, <laughs> you fucking idiot. And they're like, yeah, for free. And I'm like, no dinner, nothing. They're like, nothing. <laughs> you're being, I'm like, you're sold so I go, easily. I go, bullshit. <laughs> and they go, we will fucking put you up right now. And they put my yeah. photos up. And they go, Jason, you're blowing up. Everybody wants to come over and blow you. And I go, what? I go, fucking bullshit. Fucking get them over here right now. So. <laughs> So they clear out. My chick at the time, she hid in the dog kennel. So I put a bl- hid in the dog kennel. I put a blanket over the dog kennel so you could she could see through it, but you couldn't see her in it. And 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 they ca- dude comes in, he pulls my pants down, sucks it out of me, and walks out backwards like fucking Konichiwa shit. Yeah. Fucking thank you, thank you. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like, are you serious? And then I tell. Uh, she tells other girls and they're like no way that's true to the point where at one point I had my chick dressed as a gimp she had motocross gloves on and like a leather mask yeah. and like tracksuit pants and I made it at one point because I had like three dudes on me at the same time and they what? went yeah dude like uh, come on man I'm an yeah. addict you're a king dude you're a king if, if everybody wants to blow me and it's I only got so much cum in one day I'm like well you're three of you can come over and get it how about that and then one of them went rash. to touch the gimp and I was like yeah. hey 
don't touch the gimp. And yeah. they thought that that was like kinky, but I was like, if you touch the gimp, you're gonna you're gonna realize it's a girl. Not all gays, but most gays, when a vagina's in the room, they can't operate. Really? Yeah, because yeah. I used to have threesomes with with a chick and a guy, and he'd be up, and then when she come in the room, he'd find it hard to keep it up, and he was trying to impress her. He was trying to impress me by staying in the game, and he couldn't do it. I, I'm okay. I'm glad you said it's, it's like trooper, it's though. like it's like you know That's how the homie, though. you don't want to do gay shit. Well, yeah. It's like that for gay. Like I know that because I'm bo- I'm you, dude. I'm not. I'm I'm straight, yeah. but I do gay shit. Well, I yeah, have. But you don't. You but don't, I, when, you when don't some- suck nobody's dick, though. I've done everything. Dude, uh, listen, I'm gonna tell you something right I've now. I've done everything. That's a little gay. Right if you want to kick, I don't care. No, kick I'm me d- out. No, I'll fucking no. knock you out. Suck your dick and film it. <laughs> and knock then you everybody, out first. You know, so I'm gonna tell you something, Jason. On some real shit, when it comes to, like partying and shit, <laughs> I feel like, you know, I'm the goddamn Steph Curry of this mm, shit. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like I walk in room, I can out fucking drink on the table. I can out storm on the table. You know, you're I'm, talking I'm, to a guy who used to make shapes of countries out of cocaine, right? I, I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I, I I know I'd be like, my see ba- that, and they'd be like, "What?" I'm like, "That's Australia," <laughs> and then they go, where, sh- "Everyone show Jason. Everyone look at what Jason made." Wait, where did it go? And I'm like, "You know exactly where it it's went. It's gone." Yeah, that is insane. No, I, s- I snorted Australia. Not on my fucking best day do I think I can even fucking walk side by side to you at some of the shit. Well, yeah, you could. Yeah, you're good at. Now I, could, I, yeah, now, I have now too much espresso, fucking, I get nervous. Yeah, now you're a fucking vegan and shit. You know, I'm whatever. Vegan. But, uh, I'm a fucking... <laughs> vegan corn dog shit. When I picked him uh, up, he's deep throat the corn dog. It's fucking meat. I only eat meat. I love fucker. it. Fucker. Um, but to your point on the threesome thing with the... with, Dude, every threesome, devil's threesome, two guys, one chick that yeah. I've ever had. Yeah. Yeah. Devil's. Is that what they call them? Devil's, devil's threesome. threesome. Yeah. yeah. A, a, every one, dude, look. It depends on who right. you are, eh? Look. <laughs> well, <laughs> true, dude. Yeah. You're not as flexible as I am. I thought that was called a ladder match. No. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I will not do good. that. If the guy goes, <laughs> fuck it, I go, nah. Nah, don't touch my hand. I, touch, I don't palm on anybody. <laughs> nah. Really? I don't high five anybody for shit. Nice. I don't even shake hands. You I can pat it out if you yeah. want, but if you, if you go like that, I'm like, fuck off. Yeah. But every time I would be in there, we'd be in there, That the guy just had... Look, dude, if I'm hungover and mayonnaise falls on my thigh while I'm making a sandwich, I'll jerk off in the mayonnaise. Like, it don't take shit for me to get... Arrest. Wait, is that yeah. like somebody coming on you? Is that what that's? No, I just it just t- got too close to my thigh. I'm hung over. Hangover hornies are real, but every time I'd be fucking this chick, and hangover my homeboy would just be in the corner trying to get harder. And I remember one time in College Station, this Halloween party, in the back of my Chevy Cavalier, she's sitting on me, and I'm fucking her in the back seat of my car, and I come all over her back, and he's in the front seat, and he goes to switch. Well, he didn't know I come on her back. She sat on him, and all my cum got on his chest nice. and shit. Instantly got hard. Yeah. Really? You pheromones. Got, yeah. You got hard. He, no, I was already finished. <laughs> oh, I was, was going to say, finished. if that did it again. Okay. No, I was hard before we were supposed There's a lot of homophobes that are gay. But but it's right. crazy. Yeah, it's agree. crazy how you sound them apps because literally my boy, he just fucking, they, they message him and then boom, they meet up and do that. And I'm like, well, gays are fishing in a smaller pond. You know what I'm saying? So you got to, when you, the opportunity presents itself, the, you got to jump. The thing is, is it's not the gay, the name is fucking with everybody. The gay, the lesbian, the it's not about that, dude. We're human. Yeah. Like you like you you want to say you're not into like really hot trans chicks because you don't want anyone to know that you it's a weird thing you might be gay. If she's really fucking hot and she's got panties on and you can't see her dick, how the fuck is she not really hot? Because a lot of trans chicks are hotter than your average fucking actual natural All of them are, chick. Dude. No, that's not true. Trust <laughs> me, I fuck the other ones. <laughs> but I'm saying what I'm saying is if you're sexually if you're a sexual person, it's not about what you've got. It's not about, I'm not fucking a dude. I'm not fucking a girl. I, I fuck souls, you know? Like, that's how I work. Hey. And I don't and, and, I, don't, and I don't care about your fucking floating God's opinion about, because I also, don't, I know, I believe in God, but I don't believe God judges anybody for sucking a dick. Uh-uh. I, believe, I believe that's all made up by some fucking right. anal man who's got a small dick in a complex. Right. It's got yeah. nothing to do with me. If I'm attracted to you, I'm going to fuck you. Yeah. And that's the end of it. And it's like, oh, man, that one's got a dick or this one's got a pussy. Like, I, I've seen dudes, I've seen natural-born girls that are now dudes 
And I and some of them I'm really into, and some of them I'm fucking not into at all, yeah. and vice versa. It's just like this weird opinion of your yourself, where because you've you've you seen it on video, you've seen the the big book tell you it's bad, yeah. and if you see two dudes making out, you're like, oh, and then you see two girls making out, you're like, yeah, yeah, and it's like they're both gay, motherfucker. Like, and guess what? The only ones that are gonna touch your dick is probably these two dudes, yeah, because two chicks are usually pretty busy by themselves, yeah. But if you get in the mix with all of them. Like if I'm fucking like four people at the same time and one one hand's on my balls and it's a dude's hand, I give a fuck. Yeah. Like good. Just, just to make sure his fingernails if are you're doing If you're doing a good job, I give a shit what package you're carrying. But you're fucking spiritually enlightened. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I, do, I, didn't, I didn't see fascinated. the summon when it's we got here, free, but I do like it. It's free. This. You're it's free. free. Hey, I don't but, care. Hey. I don't care. But Jason. And then I win. Yeah. You know? Jason, yeah. to be fair though. This, here we go. To be fair. You got to be. Them trans, them Which trans ones? pussies. Yeah, a little bit colder too than a regular. Tight. A little <laughs> bit <laughs> colder than a regular. Too tight. A little bit colder. A little bit not colder. All, not all. Not, see, not the same. It's like you're not. saying all black people run fast. I've well. seen some slow ones and I've seen some fucking small black dicks. It's not the way it is. <laughs> but it is colder. It's not. Then a, then a re, it's you're inside. talking about. You're talking about testosterone ones. If you're a girl who is who is transitioned to a man and you're doing a lot of testosterone over a long period of time, here's the other thing. I know girls that have transitioned and now I was going out, I was seeing them before and then they transitioned, started getting on the tee and I watched their clit get bigger. No, oh, it swells up, yeah. But then I've seen girls that are now guys that were that have haven't been a girl for fucking 15 years and they've got a fucking they've got a fucking dick, dude. And it gets hard. And it is it is different. It is a whole different game. When you eat them out, you suck dick. Nice. Like a little clothesline. You you do a like thing. A little, like a little coat hook. It's like a micro penis blowjob. It's a it's a different thing. It's a different animal. They can do different positions. What they do you can, mean? Well, there's this position that I learned with a trans guy where my legs are over their over their legs, so they're fucking me with my dick, but my dick's coming out the back of me like a tail. And it, and it works. Yeah, but hot yoga, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, yeah. but, no, uh, that's yoga. like no, that's like old, that's like old school Greece shit, like the fucking top of the what top yeah, royalty. And that's the other yeah. thing, Alexander the Great, dude. Trans best guys, because they're on that T, they're they're like this, dude. They're us. They're they're us with pussies. Like that's the thing that I get to understand. Like our testosterone, like women, like women can they want a connection. They they want to like the guy and then they make love. They're more not not all not all. Some girls just like to fuck too. But I think you'll find a lot of girls that just want to fuck have a higher They're testosterone f- level because the testosterone. It's like when guys fuck, like grinder guys. It's just like guys talk to me that they they'd be like, "What's up, dick ass? Fucking, I'll come. You can come. You can beat me. I'm a little call me a little." Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Whoa, Jesus, dude! Like girls on tender. Nobody says come over and call." There's this, this foreplay involved. There's like a bunch of shit yeah. that happens before yeah. it happens. Yeah. Girls that are now guys that are on T, when they fuck, they fuck like men. Like they're like, give it. To, this this is the thing where I started to fall in love with them because when I was in the middle of like, I love pussy, right? More than I love dick, for sure. But when a, when a, when somebody's got a pussy and they fuck me like a man, it's like it's like whoa, hey, 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 and they're, usually they're into lifting weights and shit, so they're like grabbing me hard, and I'm like I'm like oh, are we fucking wrestling right now? Like yeah, I'm hey. fucking wrestling, you motherfucker. You know what I mean? It's like fuck with pussy, and I'm like yeah, that's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, and, and you're like coming at me like a little bit of a man. I don't want to kiss you that much because you might. I don't like facial hair and kissing. <laughs> Because I'm because I'm not gay, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you, you gotta find gay. you gotta you gotta find your you gotta find your type, you know? Yeah. Where have we been? Why are we living? Why are we? That's what I'm saying, man. Like, like it's that, hey, it's not too late. Look at those feet. You're in right I'm there. Fucking, I mean, my toenails. I, you are know, he knows too. I'm dipping my toes in already. My toenails are painted too. We, got, we do that. We go do that every fucking Wednesday. Yeah. You guys are suspect for sure. Right. There's nothing wrong <laughs> with that. This is Texas. You can't say that, dude. Exactly. Be free, man. Be free. This uh, podcast is sponsored by Nesquip. Is uh, it? No, it's not. But God I was going to say, my bad, everybody. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, this is, that was awesome. Fucking... That's, yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. That's a lot. I, we didn't get to, I'm what, retired now. I don't do look, any of it. Hey, I'm be honest with you. Your aura and everything about you, this go around. The last time I seen you when I, you're, when you're, I was at your house doing yeah. your podcast, you fucking are glowing right now. Yeah. Son. You, you feel I, good. Yeah. Like, like, I can feel like, yo, I'm man, out, dude. You're fucking in it. 
Oh, he's in the club. cloud. He's gonna fucking what? Uh, Whitney Cummings gonna take you out on the road with him? Yeah, he just yeah, dude, that's fucking dope. Dude. That's awesome. Yeah. He's out Fuck here yeah. throwing it, throwing it. Yeah, dude. I wasn't even sh- like when she mentioned it to me, I was like, yeah, I would love to do a show, and I just figured it was a show, you know. And then my manager's like, ask her like how many dates. She's like, any dates you want. And then I'm like, and then she goes, ask her if it's like for money, and do I have to pay for hotels and airfare? And I ask her, and she just starts laughing at me, and she's like, duh, yeah, it's for money, you fucking idiot. And I was like. Okay, this is like I'm a I've got headlining gigs across the country right now by myself, and Whitney Cummings wants me to go on the road with her. I've made it. Yeah, like I yeah. don't want I don't want. I mean, all the rest that comes great, but I don't I didn't I didn't get into it to be special, man. I got I want to be a good comedian. I've been good at things before. The whole like payback shit. I don't. It's overrated. Being special is bullshit. Yeah. I know I'm just some fucking asshole. That's the real, that's what I am. Yeah. Just another guy. But if I can get good at it and I know that I put in the work, work. and I'm good at it, that's the, from skateboarding, dude, that's the thing I carry from skateboarding. People can say, hey man, I remember you used to rip. <clears throat> that's cool. I'm not saying it's bad when someone says no, that. No, it's notoriety. But what's the best part about me skateboarding? When I fucking was running it, dude, when I used to drop in and I'd be like, I'll make, I'll go, I'm making this thing go wherever the fuck, fuck I want and control. I'll do it in my way. Yeah. yeah. Like you that's what it, I want from comedy. You said, it, you said it in the car, like when you was talking about when we was driving over, you said, you know, the boy, the door guys at the store, they see you going in little shit open mics, putting it work. Yeah. Cause like a lot of them social media guys and shit like, you know, like they come in and they just take their little TikTok fame and take all their shit and they don't put in the work. But you I don't tell. blame them either, though. I feel like if you're younger and you get somebody gives you a whole pass to like come in the cheap way, we're human, dude. It's like, yeah, but if you it's like, oh, okay, but, fancy way. I'll but, go in the fancy way. Like, nobody wants to do hard knock version. No, no, but at the same time, though, you got to have like, like, you. There's a fine line of like what you, when you start, like you get that opportunity. Yeah, you get thrust into it. Cool. That, that's luck of the draw. You can't, yeah. I don't hate anybody for how they fucking get there. Yeah. That ain't on me. But when you get there, I, f- I feel like in my duration of things, I've hurt myself in my career by having opportunities I wasn't ready for. You see yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah, but I yours, feel like- is diff- yours is different, dude. Your, yours, you got thrown in in a little bit of an accident. You got natural ability, that's for sure. That's why Tony saw it and got you on there. And then you're just thrown into the fucking, into the big league straight off the bat. But the difference is, is this is why, this is why I know you're good. Because you could be thrown in and then you're like getting spat out and you're like, oh man, it turns out I'm not what I thought I was. You were like, oh, Turns out I'm not ready yet. Well, then watch me go on the road and build me. Yeah. yeah. Because you came from something different, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking oil guy. Like, yeah, you yeah. fucking have a real job. You've had, you know yeah. what life. I know what struggle you is. Know, right. Yeah. So when you know what a struggle is, that's the thing, like, with fighting, like, people that are, like, fancy and rich or have good parents, when you get hit in the head, you think it's not a good idea to come back. But when you've lived what I've lived and you felt with my pain, Hit me again. when you punch me in the face, I'm having a fucking blast, dude. Yeah. You're making my fucking Christmas come true, yeah. man. I'm like, do it again, motherfucker. See what happens. Yeah. Because it's in me. Like, I'm fucking built to Got fight. Got that dog in you. Yeah. So, so do you. So it's like comedy. It's like, oh, man, open mic. Like, I like open mic. Like, I did an open mic, not, dude, fucking three weeks ago where I go to go up before I go up. It's like coming up next is fucking. I don't want to say a racist name, but like it was a weird. It was a weird. <laughs> it was a weird black yeah, lady's dude. name. There was a name that I you was know? like, oh, that's the name I've never heard before. Give me one of those daddy. Episodes. And she goes, and she goes, I'm gonna be performing a song, and I'm, and it's like <laughs> ten people in the room, and I'm like, wait, a song, and it, she then she got like a DJ that plays a beat. She's like, this song's called Two Flames. Yeah, oh I believe in two flames, but sometimes I don't believe in two flames because, you know what I mean, that shit just don't be happening for me right now. And, and then she starts singing this really shitty song. Yeah. And I'm like, and then the guy comes over and he goes, hey, man, you're up next. And I go, okay. But I'm like, I'm up next. I was just at the comedy store in the green room with Whitney Cummings yeah. and like Tim Dillon <clears throat> and fucking and Bobby Lee. And I left early. Because I had mic. to go to, a, I wanted to do an open to mic. I love that. With eight people watching, but before I do this, my fucking seven minutes, I'm not saying her name. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you did the accent, so you might as well. <laughs> <laughs> but she got put your hands to the side, and I was like, I was like, holy shit, man! And then like she gets off, and I get up, and I'm like. Well, I don't have a song for anybody tonight, but I was like, you know, here, we, here we go. I'm doing my, and it's like a club that's in an alleyway, and the dude that runs it is the fucking sweet dude. 
And I go back all the fucking time. They sell fucking hot dogs in the alleyway. I fucking love that place. Love bacon it. wrapped. I know, I bacon know what it's. Yes. Yes. We know which, which makes it even crazy. Hey, we know which one you're talking about, dude. And he has like the little loaf of bread right there, yeah. and they're fucking cheap. And like, I don't eat it because I, I don't eat like bad food because I'm. That's the thing. I'm kind of a rich poser, you know. But I'm also from the streets. Like, I can get down. I'm just yeah, dude. 52, and I'm like, if I eat that, I like, I'm trying to. I, I can bench like. Real shit now, dude. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you, and I don't want to fucking make out with you or anything like that, so don't fucking stop yeah, looking at me. Sure. Like, yeah, I want to yeah, make yeah. out with but everybody. I, I will say something about you. For someone who has fucking lived that hard, like they say things, if you're extreme one way, you'll be extreme another way. Yeah. Dude, he cut out his little lady friend's uh, girlfriend, told him, hey, you probably, them Zins are bad for you. He's like, yeah. nah, I did nicotine pouches. He's like, nah, they're not bad for you. She's like, let me Google that. And it's like bad for your cardiovascular. He goes, Oh, well, fuck that. I'm quitting it right now. Quit cold turkey. Yeah. Dude, that's like, that's some next level, like, yeah. if you're calloused one way, like, if you have an addictive person style, not like one way, if you flip that switch, it applies the other way, dude. That's fuck crazy, it, dude. Does. And it's, it's like how much you want it. Yeah. It's you know, drive. like, people talk, especially now on social media, fuck it. You got to, don't give up and be fucking, blah, 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 determination and don't be, don't back <laughs> out and all this other shit. And I'm like, I'll break all you motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, put me in a room with you for fucking five seconds. I'll make you cry like a bitch. I guarantee it. And I cry. I'm, I'm scared and I quit. Yeah, so if I cry and I'm scared and I I quit and you tell me that you don't I know that you're a liar like Mike Tyson says he's scared before every fight that's the most violent man alive yeah. like when he was in his prime he could tear your fucking chest open yeah. and he's scared to fight just like when I've had fights I've had fights where in the cage I'm scared as fuck but then we fight, you know what I mean? Because I won't, I will do it. Like right. I've jumped off things where I'm like, "You're not gonna make it," Ugh. and uh, and I didn't. I woke up in the hospital and a lady was wiping my dick down with a wet towel because I pissed myself because I was in and out of consciousness in the ambulance. Like, but I, but I'll go. You know what I mean? Like that. And then when you know that, then you apply it to everything else. Like I'm yeah. like, you know, I fought Shane Carwin. And I remember Shane was like, "You fought Shane Carwin?" Yeah, I didn't know you fought Shane Carwin. He had one arm. <laughs> like, I duct taped his other arm, but the the thing was, is he, was he was on steroids for sure. <laughs> Dude, he was like 285. We fought Brock Lesnar. He was 300 when I fought him. Oh, my God. We weighed in together. How tall is he? He's, that's the other thing. He's only 6'2". I, I didn't think he was that tall. Yeah, I mean, that's still We tall, weighed but. in. I was 200, and he was 300. So he was 100 pounds heavier than me. Talk. So he tells me this, because I get knocked out, but I should have known when we got... I get in the ring. We were at fucking Pink Taco the, the night before, and I noticed his fingers look like porn dicks. He's got like giant porn dick fingers. Big old all, all my girls that were at the table were like, oh, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I get in the ring, right? And I'm like, I'm like, hey, hey, and I run up to him, like, and he's like, oh. And I'm, and I'm like, oh, this is like uh part of the show. Like you're showing the crowd that yeah. you're not playing, but you are playing because you're fucking Shane Cowan. You don't need to get serious for me. Right. Like, yeah, I can box, but I'm not I'm not a fucking UFC heavyweight champion, yeah. dude. <laughs> So we get in there, and he's every now and then he throws a punch. He throws it so hard that he's... We put a, a roll of duct tape on this arm. He ripped it off. Oh, fuck. Several times. We had to retape him. he just do that, and it would snap off. I fucking... He grabs me with the good arm. I'm holding him, right? So I've got the good arm trapped. He's got no arm. And I just go like this, like light on the face, like fucking around. Like, ha, ha, ha. Crowd starts laughing. He, I'm 200 pounds. He picks me up. And holds me upside down with just this shoulder pad, 200 pounds. That's picks nice. me up like that, puts me over the ropes, then picks me back up, puts me back in the ropes. And I'm like, wait, next, how is that physically next possible? Level. Next level. Then he punches me in the back of the head. It's an <laughs> illegal punch, first of all. But he punches me so hard in the back of the head, my whole face goes tingly. And I'm like, <laughs> is, he, is he not playing? And then, and then I look at my corner, and my corner are all like uh, pro fighters, and they're like, like the, Shane Carwin's so serious that I'm scared, and so is my corner. <laughs> so he ends up knocking me out, right? Like he knocks me out one time. I wake up, and I'm like, nah, that's not enough for the crowd. Like you can we gotta again. go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then the next time he fucking pushed, he put me out. I wake up, and he's standing over me, looking angry. His face is red for some reason. And I'm like, okay, we're good. And then I try to say thanks, everybody. And I, <laughs> and, I go, and I go to someone, I'm not making sense, am I? And they're like, you're good, dude, you're good. And I was like, here you go, take the microphone. Ugh. So the, that thing's over. I see him a year later on a houseboat for this other Ellis Mania on a floating island. And he tells me and all my friends that that night, his coach goes, he's rapping him and he goes, you know why Jason brought you here, right? 
And he's like, yeah, man, have fun. Like, Jason's my friend. He's like, nah, dude. He's going to knock you out, put it on YouTube, and say he knocked out a heavyweight champion. And he's like, you think? He's like, dude, I don't think. I fucking know. Jason's a fucking snake. <laughs> Who so said that? His, corner, his coach guy. His trainer, Did he know you at no. all? What a cocksucker, so, dude. So Shane tells this fucking boat that he was dead set on fucking knocking me out and hurting me that night. And everybody, because like, I got five friends that have had like, you know, 50 fights. To me, I'm more honored because I'm like, oh, you really trying to kill me? He's like, fuck yeah, I was trying to kill you. Like, you ain't, trying, you ain't knocking me out. And I was like, I could have. I could have. I had your arm trapped. He's like, I know, I didn't catch it at the time, but I thought that you were trying to do it. Because like, at one point I tried to trap you and you stepped out around the corner. So I was like, okay, he's got a game plan. And I was like, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm going to make it last a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we're but I knew, I knew, I told people in the dressing room, I looked in the mirror and was like, you're getting knocked out for you mean 3,000 people at the Hard Rock you know who you are dude like <laughs> in the mirror yeah, love you dad yeah cause I was yeah cause I knew love you dad <laughs> because I, I've done look I've been in contests before I was, I've oh, done yeah. tricks before I was like it's a 50-50 but I've never done a you're definitely not gonna make it and you're gonna get knocked out I've never done that you've never been led to slaughter yeah Just, and yeah, I was yeah. like this one is to the slaughter cause yeah, I was yeah, like yeah. If, he, if he fucks up I'm not taking that shot he's a legend I don't wanna beat him like, the, this coach was saying the opposite of what I was thinking. Right, right. But just hearing Shane saying, I 100% I came to knock you out. And I did. And I was like, cool. Because that was, to, you know, all my fight friends are like, dude, you took a fucking uh, uh, a left hook from the heaviest puncher in the in the history of the UFC. Was it the back of the headshot that knocked you out, or was it a... No, nah, uh, nah, it was you? two left hooks. He only got one <clears throat> arm, dude. It was the left hook that was only coming, but I was in the clinch with him. Ooh. So when I held him, I stood there in front of him with oh, my hands down, fuck, and he just went, fucking, wow. Yeah. Oh, God. And y'all have boxing, boxing gloves or, or UFC gloves? Boxing gloves, About, yeah, What, yeah, yeah. 12 ounce or 16? I think there was 16s, 16. but when you're a 300 pound... You don't matter. Here's the other bit, dude. Like, he threw a jab at the start, and I blocked it, and it went dink, dink, and hit me in the face and knocked me on my ass. And I saw it. I parried it, and it just knocked me down. <laughs> there was a couple of shots where I That's bounced off him crazy. to, like, throw an uppercut, and when my shoulder hit his shoulder, it was like... You know when your friend, like, tries to move you with a car, and you can't push it? Yeah. It was like that. that. Like, I hit him to push him back, and all I did was bounce back. I, I'm a 200 pound guy. Like I, I can, I got weight. Just for the viewers at home, Georgia, when you're doing this edit, look up Shane Carwin's highlights on YouTube and snip this in because that dude. It's on he, world. He, it's on world style on YouTube. World him style, yeah. Out. Him, him not get out. Clip that in if you can find it. Also, dude, he was a goddamn science teacher while he was training in the UFC. He was not a science or, teacher. He was a engineer, and he still is. Engineer, yes. Yeah, I know. That's he, badass. He, yeah, he was a he fuck, dude. He was. I remember when he he beat he Lesnar, still, right? He beat Lesnar nah, for the time. Or he, not, he lost he, to Lesnar. He lost to he Lesnar, was beating but he the beat fuck the out fuck of Lesnar. out of him and he gassed and out. And he gassed out. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot sucked. who he beat to become the champion. It was Randy Couture, Frank right? Mir. Or Frank Mir, that's what it was. He yeah, yeah. switched him off. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. What do you think? Um, all right, I got a couple questions for you, though. Yeah. You're clinically insane. We could, It's fair. but um, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> who have you met that you've been like, damn, the motherfucker's crazier than me? My father. Yeah. Yeah, easily. We had a drinking game once in Australia. My brother, my two brother before my brother died, I got, I had two brothers, but it was my, it was younger, younger, medium, and then me, and my, and we had a drinking game around the table. It's called one up, one down, and it's a drinking game where if you don't know what it is, you you sit around and we we play it on whoever doesn't know the game. So if you say one up, one down, you go two up. You know, or you go two down. So it's like wherever your hands are when you say it, that's what the fucking game is. But we don't tell anybody what it is. So the one person at the table that's trying to figure it out keeps losing and he keeps taking shots while we all keep laughing at that dumb cunt because he can't get it. So, you know, I go one up, one down, you know? And they go, yeah, you're good. And then my dad's like, fucking what? Oh, I think I've got it. And he's like, he's like, is it two up? And we go, no. And he's like, fuck. So he drinks again. So he's drinking. We're making, like, I figured it out. So I'm starting to win now because I figure out, I'm like, oh, wait, is it one up, one down? And everyone at the table goes, yeah. And I go, right, okay. And then it gets around to my dad and he goes, is it is it two up? And they're like, nope. And he's like, fuck. And he just keeps t- taking shots. So he's drinking, he's drinking. And he's got this paint gun 
a heat gun that like melts paint off the wall. <laughs> yeah. And he's got it on the table and he's been showing everybody. He's like, check out this fucking gun. You fucking put it on the fucking wall, burns the fucking paint off the wall. And everyone's like, that's pretty cool, dad. And he's got it on the table. <laughs> And one of my brother's friends grabs it and f- picks it up and it, and, and it brushes the kid's arm. And he goes, ah, fuck. Oh, no, I think my dad grabbed it and it went and it went past the kid's arm. The guy goes, ah, fuck. You fucking burnt me. You burnt me, Steve. You know, and he's like, let me see. He's like, that's not a fucking burn, you pussy. He's like, you want to see a fucking burn? And he put it on his forearm, turned it on and just put it there. And uh, his forearm started popping blisters oh. over and over again. And he kept it there, just melting his own arm. And he's go, he's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and I'm, I'm standing on the other side of the table going, he's, he's crazier than me. Yeah. He's, he's fucking Nuts. crazy. Yeah. And then everybody at the table, all of us, were like, he's fucking insane. And then my stepmom comes down like, Steve, what are you fucking doing? Ah, fucking, it's all right. We're going to put something on that. Nah, I'm fucking fine. Put a bit of whiskey on there. You'll be good. Anyway, fuck it. <laughs> Rub some dirt two up, on it. Two down. You know, yeah, there he goes. One up, one down. Yeah, or some shit like that. He dude. still didn't get it. He kept playing. Like, kept drinking. And then he woke up. He had to go to hospital because he got a staph infection from melting his arm. And I was <laughs> oh, just no. like, you're fucking crazy. Yo, you ever had a staph infection? Yeah, like seven times. I got Mercer on my dick once. Oh, fuck. I got oh, Mercer. That's the worst. I'm a chick with a fucking hey. zipper. I fucking cut the bottom of my dick. And I got Mercer, and then I got Mercer from skating escape. I got Mercer on the inside crevice with like the V right here. Yeah. I, got, I got in a fucking uh, a, a whirlpool jacuzzi at a strip club in West Virginia. That'll do it. And it had the water <laughs> consistency was like egg drop soup, but I was like, and you got in. Let me, salt, pepper, and cinnamon got in there. <laughs> yeah, fuck. And, oh, then, and then and then nutmeg got in there. I'm pretty sure it was yeah. a guy. Have you ever have you ever eaten a girl's ass in the in the champagne room? Oh yeah. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, I take it. I haven't yet. I haven't gotten there yet, bro. We're headed there. Yeah, we're headed there. I did that with an. No, I've been trying to set up something on my tour uh, as this like kind of starts going some more. Where like, I got to start setting up some shit where like the after party, yeah, is paid by the strip club, and I go there give them free publicity, and everybody yeah. come back to that. Cause dude, it's just like, dude, there's no more rock stars left in fucking entertainment. Really? I don't name somebody. Name I don't. Somebody. I don't care anymore. So I don't know. I figured one of those new guys would be one of the guys that does that now like a fucking Drake or I guess he just wants kids or something but yeah he's like what about what about uh man sorry uh Man, I don't know anybody I don't uh, yeah, care I wasn't gonna say Diddy but who's, who's, the tattooed, who's the tattooed guy that does he was a rapper but he does country. oh did Kit Machine Gun Kelly I knew no that. no no oh, that. Oh, fuck that guy oh Post Malone yeah yeah, yeah he was Post rap Malone. and now he's country yeah does he do does he party I mean yeah, I guess he does, but I, I'm talking like like Ozzy Osbourne type shit, like oh. doing drugs uncomfortably. Yeah. It's almost yeah. frowned upon though, Dude, like in the it industry. Is. It's, it's, not, crazy. it's not rebellious anymore because it's, it's not illegal. Yeah. You know, it used to be like you know, if you smoked weed, you were crazy. You know, so you so of course you do coke at the strip club, you know, because yeah. that's that's like another level. But now it's like doing coke at the strip club. It's like. Fucking Jimmy Dickface over here has, has got a bump and he's fucking on the table. <laughs> yeah, who doing cares it. if who cares if you're doing it? Like yeah. to up it is to is to not, not do, do it. it. Right. That's where it's come to. Yeah. It just needs a little bit of a of a dry patch of fucking, you know, because everyone's got your fucking, you know. Like I remember prescription fucking ketamine spray the doctor gave me. You know what I mean? Like if a fucking doctor's giving me ketamine, then if you're doing ketamine, you're not impressing me, man. Yeah. You know, like fucking my doctor gave me fucking. Psh, psh, I'm fucking golden. And then, like, you got MDMA from the doctor. I got fucking, you know, mushrooms and all this other shit. Like, if you can get it from the doctor, then you doing it at the strip club is not impressing me no. at all. So it's like, it's got to go a dry spell. So then the next generation that's, like, hasn't seen it, Lives then up you to can it. start. Because, yeah. you know, it's just like somebody's going to start wearing bell bottoms again. Yeah. And be like, wait, bell bottoms are cool. And women's and you're jeans. like, you're fucking loser. Like, that that was already done. But that's, it needs a, it needs a spell. It's well, like, I got some at home. I haven't worn them yet. They're you're right. old school, dude, and you're in a you're in an era of of new school. Everyone's let me, let me a ask bitch you now. Let, let me ask you this, because <laughs> let me ask you this. This is the one thing that I saw real quick when I got into this this comedy scene, shit, this entertainment world. Because I'm not from this. I'm, I didn't grow up wanting to be this. It just kind of happened. But who is, dude? 
Exactly, right? Who Come knows on. what we're fucking Nobody was born to be in it. Except for, like, ba- Drew Barrymore. There you go. What? Yeah, She was born to be in <laughs> Such a random name to Because her family, was, her, family, her family was in Hollywood. Yeah. She oh, yeah, was in Hollywood. Baby. Yeah, the rest sure. of us came to be a star. Yeah. You know, like, we came. Like, uh, like well, let us get a go. Like, or, or it's an, you know, a little bit of an accident with you. Yeah. My radio thing was an accident. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, but fucking, like, outside of comedy, I would fuck with you. We would do shit together. Yeah. We tear, we tear town to pieces. We would. I get in this goddamn scene, and like, there's a lot of these motherfuckers outside of this I would never associate with, and I'd probably fight to be honest <laughs> with you because they're fucking. They, they're, I mean, name them by name. I, yeah. Shut you're up, just, dude. You're, right. just, you're just young, dude. I That's mean, all dude, I just I know you can't go around punching everybody in the fucking face. I, if I punch everybody in the face that I felt disrespect to me and in a in a sign of like power, <laughs> I wouldn't have made mean, it nowhere. Let it go. Yeah, but fuck that, dude. I'm tired mean. of all these motherfuckers at the top. It doesn't they're, mean They're anything. the ones that get creepy on women and fucking touch their oh, that's, toes when they're sleeping that's and shit different. like that, dude. That's, that's different. Valley, dude. Oh, my yeah. God, oh, bro. Man. Wow, dude. Well, yeah, but I mean, dude, so then don't take it out on fucking me whenever I'm there having <laughs> your back, dude. Yeah, dude, you're right, dude. Yeah, that's different. I showed you the golden you brick road, dude. You don't have to be in it. Hollywood to get punched in the face. If you're doing that, I'll punch well, you. Well, yeah, just in general. But I'm saying, dude, just like, I wouldn't hang out with them people. Like, I'm in green rooms with some of these people. I'm just like. Well, y'all are fucking losers. I like y'all can go home and play Xbox after this. I'm gonna go home and chase some tail. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it just it, it tail's chasing you now, though. That's the cool part. Oh, I know. So you have to pay, you have to be slim pickings. You gotta look at it from. I, you you know. gotta try everybody else's shoes on, man. You know, I mean, I'll, he has I'll, real small feet, though. If you ever <laughs> noticed, <laughs> well, he gave so me some boots one. today. Hey, have some boots. Huh? Hey, hey, yeah, that fuck you Which the, ones? The the, the, the no, those are uh, those are back gator back. Oh, those are what? gator back. They're fucking yeah. sick. Look at the crocodilians, dude. Oh yeah, I love They're that. So into fuck them. yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, man, you got to look at it from everybody else's angle. Cause I, dude, I'm the. I used to be the guy, dude. Douches would douches can get it. Like yeah. you wear sketches. I'm thinking about like stomping you out in the parking lot. You know? <laughs> sketches, dude. Yeah, because I'm like, who the fuck would buy those shoes? Why do they light up? Like, Why do they light are you, up? Are you trying to come at me? You know what I mean? Because I, I like way I see it, this is personal. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like you're trying to wear sketches in the vicinity of my of my life. I'll fucking end you. What about Heelys? Because you were like a skateboarder. I used to, dude, I did rollerbladers still hate me for my fucking speech on that shit. Cause, yeah? Yeah, because, dude, you, you, like, you grabbing on. Like, you know why you're grabbing on? Because you want to be us. You know what you should do is be us and stop pretending, motherfucker. And then, you know, there was a time there where people bought those instead of us. So you took our fucking livelihood for this thing that is not even a real sport. You're a bunch of fucking half-ass wannabes. Dude. But, hey, man, if you like rolling around with the fucking thing stuck on your feet, then fucking good for you. Who am I? Yeah. You know, yeah. that's how, that, like, that's how. You're older and, and now. Dude, and, but, but I'm fucking, I remember, I know what it's like to be that guy. And I was angry. And I was having a bad time all the time. Yeah. Now, you I now. see a rollerblader and I go fucking. Go hit a low rail. Hit it, a low rail. It used to be, I would be fucking pissed. <laughs> like, afterwards. I'd be like, fucking Get out of the bowl! And then, and Get then, out of the bowl! An hour later, I'd be like fucking smoking weed and going, fuck, I still can't believe I saw that fucking rollerblader. Yeah. Ooh, grabbing a, oh, look at this. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck does? Oh, fucking knick-knack, yeah. fucking touch your toe, fucking pussy. Yeah. I get super mad for, for like a day after. Yeah. Now, I'm like too busy having a good time in my life, dude. Fuck like, on. have a fucking, dude, put a bum bag on. Fucking, I don't care. Yeah, ice cream cone, go to the roller. Yeah, right? dude, yeah, like, dude, it. do yeah, all gazy. of it. Like, <laughs> Live your life. I don't give a shit, man. Dude, the Heelys, that, that's funny you say. I was literally about to say how I'd get pissed off when I'd see people with Heelys, bro. Like, for whatever <laughs> yeah, reason. Yeah, they used to make wa- me so, wa- so One shoes, minute they're dude. walking, then for some reason they just take, like, a fast step, and then they just fucking Skate away. Yeah, I was, so, like, I was so mad at those guys. Yeah. I was mad at you for wearing ca- carrying your skateboard the wrong way. Oh, like, wow. You fucking yeah, holding so- the truck, dude? Fucking poser. You got like five seconds to get the fuck out of here, man. You know what I mean? And I'm like, what is, who, who are you? What are you, the fucking, the skateboard police? Like, let everybody live, dude. And then the other thing, since I open my mind and be like, I don't hate that guy for that. I don't hate that guy for that. You know what? Speedos are fucking gay. Well, guess what? I tried Speedos on. They don't grab your leg when you swim. You're way faster in them. They feel fucking good. Turns out, turns out, not only am I a fucking party pooper, they're fucking great fucking s- swimwear. Yeah. Yeah. I fucked up. Yeah, I made a huge mistake. You, Do you know? ever like yeah. fold the back up when you're wearing one like a thong just to get like your ass cheeks colored? A what? little bit. Like, like, do you ever like when you're wearing a speedo? Like, do you ever like kind of like? Because I know they don't. You're work. on your own, homo. But good try. <laughs> oh, 
all right, dude. I mean, I'm just saying. I do. Uh, all right, dude, we're going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> I'm just saying. I get jealous of people with Speedos. I'm joking. Yeah. I think they're all, I, the, the tighter, the smaller. No matter, I love it. Yeah. I love wearing them all. Them. I think they're I, all great. Can you, uh, you don't have to tell if you don't want to, but remember when we was at your house last time, you told me about when you did that ketamine spray when you was driving the car. Oof. Can you tell me that story? Where you went in the K-hole in traffic and you're on the phone with your... Oh, can you yeah. tell me that, that, that is probably the fucking best story What ever city ever. were you in? He's in L.A., right? I don't want to... I, yeah, okay, I, 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 no, I can say I don't No, care. no, we can edit it out. We don't get live. I don't right? give a fuck, God, dude. Like, I, I would figure me. the guy with the fucking uh, a, a eagle on the back of his <laughs> fucking, fucking war stories, dude. dude. It's already yeah. done. Yeah, so I started skating again, and uh, I had a... How did it work? Because it was a couple... It was two times I went into a K... So I had, <laughs> I had a fucking... Doctor prescribed me ketamine spray, right? And sometimes I do ketamine spray so much that my nose would block up. So I called the doctor. I was like, sometimes I do so much spray, my nose doesn't work. And he's like, I'll get you some lozenges. I'm like, that sounds great. So I got lozenges. You put them under your tongue. He's like, they're a little bit stronger than the spray, so watch out. And I was like, yeah, no problem. So there was a time there where I was doing so much that then I started to get not that into it anymore. And I kind of like stopped doing it completely. So then I met a fucking um, skating and I, I heard something... I'm pretty, I'm pretty fucking decent hurt. I think I tore a ligament or whatever, which means I know I've got to go back to LA from San Diego to uh, you know get an MRI and then get a fucking surgery, all this other shit. Because when you get hurt that much, you know all the rest. And it's not the pain. It's the fucking time. The you know what I mean? Like, I don't care about the pain that I'm in right now. I care about rehab, MRI, like all this shit that takes forever, like crutches after the surgery, going up the stairs, like showers, like it's a fucking nightmare. And you and you, your, body, your brain gives it to you right when you hurt it. You're like, oh my God. So I'm in the car and I'm like, I'm, I'm out of here. You know, I'm leaving uh, Tony's ramp and I go, oh, I got those lozenges in the fucking car. I was like, that'll kill some time. So I got to drive in traffic from fucking San Diego to LA. <laughs> So I was like, I pop a couple of lozenges, and you know, Bob will be my uncle. A couple, yeah. <laughs> I'm a big boy. Yeah, I can take it. You know, well, well not yeah. this time. Yeah, right, right. Right. Yeah. So I, I pop them, and I'm driving, and I'm fucking on my phone. You know what I mean? Talking about something or whatever, and uh, I, I forget, and I'm going up the freeway, and all of a sudden, I'm like, I'm like, where are you going? Like my head, my head's turning away, and I'm like thinking about some other shit like and i'm like hey man you're driving a car i'm like why are you not focusing on the road i'm like oh fuck ketamine lozenges and i'm like wait how deep are we going and i'm like fuck you're going at the wheel and i'm like shit so i call my chick and i'm on speakerphone i go babe took a bunch of lozenges i'm losing focus fucking panicking and I, and I want to pull over, but as I get to realize this is happening, I'm coming into Camp Pendleton. And that's where, I, one time I got a DUI there a long time ago. In the military, you know what I mean? You don't pull off around there. Right. You don't, I don't want to talk to military. k holing. Right. And I, and I can't flip a bitch. I'm on the fucking freeway. I'm already in. So I'm like, fuck, I've got to make it through Camp Pendleton before I can pull over. And this K-hole is, is pulling me in. Yeah. So I call my chick and I go, talk to me. You know, like, keep me focused. I'm K-holing on the fucking freeway going through Camp Pendleton. Like, just talk to me about something. She's like, okay. So, yeah, like, you can, you can do this, babe. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yep, I can do this. And I'm like, I, I, the main thing I keep remembering <laughs> is my head keeps pulling away from looking at the road. And I'm like, stop. Where are you looking? Because I'm like, ooh, the trees. <laughs> I keep seeing the trees and I'm like, I want to go in the trees and hug them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look We've at that tree. Like- and I'm like, nah, fucking road, dude. The road, not the trees. And she's talking to me, talking to me. And I fucking make it through Camp Pendleton, sweating, nodding off. Ugh. I get past Camp Pendleton where I know, because that's the other thing. First turn off, too sketchy, could be fucking still soldiers. So I get it through and I see a supermarket. I'm like, right, that's it. Go off in the supermarket, put the car, Susan, put the car in park. Boom, roll, all, eyes roll in the back of my head, gone. I'm gone for 40 minutes. In the car, I wake up, like, car's off, sweating. I was, like, in a magical field, like, I mean, rainbows and rolling and floating around in space. People fucking praying to me and seeing old faces and skulls coming yeah, out of it. bro, like, Dude. that's live yeah. shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, went right in all the way. Came back out, like, like look around, see a lady putting her fucking groceries okay, in the yeah. back of her yeah. car. And I'm like, 
fuck, how long? Oh, 40 minutes it take. That's about how how long they those things take. And then <laughs> yeah. put it in park and drove home. That was a close one. Yeah, man. You've been down fuck. where, like, you thought your people were stabbing you, right? Oh, dude, I mean, the last one that, like, took me out of it was when I was in San Diego, like, the most recent one. This was, like, a couple months back. I went to San Diego, and, uh, I mean... We, we just ended up going out whenever I was already tired and I had already gone too deep. It was like, I should have gone to sleep, but instead I let myself keep going. And I mean, I'm in the car with friends and all of a sudden I feel like I'm being like abducted by people I don't fucking know. And like, uh-huh. I literally like, I'm in that world. You're freaked out. But it's because, dude, like with ketamine or any drug that strong, like I've always said this, like it's fun when it's giving to you, like when it gives you something, but if you do too much, I mean, this is probably anything, right? But like, that's just what my vice was. Like that was my drug of choice. So... It gives, it gives, it gives until you get enough, and then it takes. So that's yeah, like those. Fucking- I think it's. I think if you don't, because to me, it's if you do it a lot, if you get into those bad pockets, I yeah. started to get used to being in those bad pockets, and I could fight. I could be content in there. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, oh, we're getting a bit uncomfortable. You know what I mean? And I see the skulls and the you know what I mean the demons coming out, going, <laughs> yeah. hey, come here, and I'm like, ooh, that's that's so wild. You know, that's pretty serious. And then, but I'm like, you've been here. That demon's not doing shit. Right. Like they just keep saying stuff. Just let it roll. You know what I mean? Like that guy looks real weird. Well, that's pretty scary. That's pretty bad. But it's still you're not you're not going in there. You're just hovering over it. So yeah. stay cool. Forty minutes, man. You can take forty yeah. minutes of anything. You know what I mean? You yeah. get your little coach voice going. Yeah, yeah. But if you haven't done it for a while, that's where there's a panic, and then the coach doesn't come. Yeah. You know the guy goes, "Hey, come in." You go, "Oh fuck." And, he, uh, uh, yeah. uh, and there's no voice of calm. You just go, oh, oh, wait, am I breathing? I don't feel me breathing. Oh, no, this is it. I'm going to die. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. And then back, and the demon's back, and you go, and you go oh, shit, the demon. Oh, I can't breathe. And you go, and then you like, by the third time, you go, wait, I'm doing this to myself over yeah, and yeah. over again. Make it stop! And then maybe you'll get a make it stop echo in your head before you go back and you see the demon again. You're like, no! Yeah. It's gonna keep going! I'm like, huh? and then it's like, then you'll be like, 40 minutes. And then you go, I can't do 40 minutes! Like, uh, I can't not breathe for 40 minutes! That's how you die! Uh, and there's like yeah, so many yeah. fights that Pretty- go in there. Yeah, that, that one was just particularly scary because, like, it's like how you said that voice of calm goes away. Instead of it, like, being like myself, like, I literally try I try to, like, get out of the car with these motherfuckers that are my friends. Oh, We're shit. We're going to have, yeah, I literally You're try to jump out of the fucking car. Yeah. I freaked out. Like, I, they weren't them to me. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I was so sure of that until, like, literally they, I, they had to stop because I was getting out there like, yo... Hey, Chill, yeah. I we're fucking good. Like we're gonna go yeah. get a sandwich and go home. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm Dude, like, well, that's fuck. Terrifying. Yeah, it was terrifying. I, yeah, that took me out of it. Yes, sure. you just take mushrooms. You give everybody mushrooms at the party, and then you just I love leave. mushrooms. I, so. I had my I had my drug days, but mine were like I I love pills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Percocet. You know what I mean? or what? No, I did Percocet. Percocet's one of the better painkillers. I yeah. like. Uh, I like hydrocodones, the fucking yeah. yellows or the yeah. Watson 750s. You ever take Somas? Yep. Oh, dude, take taking... somas and sit in a fucking circle with your friends and slap each other around and such, you know? Those are like sleeping pills, though. No, right? they're muscle relaxers. Oh, okay. They completely numb your mom, body. Lady Spaghetti, she eats them by the fucking handful. Oh, yeah, God, my I ex love had that. a broken she back, loved. so she had like a crazy prescription of them. I would douse a bunch of those. Dude, hydrocodone <laughs> makes your wiener as big as the base of a Coke can. It's incredible. I love fucking on painkillers. That's All when right, you well. said you couldn't. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. I know where I'm going. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, I just, it's just fucking, you know. Well, you yeah. can pop it. You got to go to like. Well, you get that. You got to go to like. Weird itch. Get these weird yeah, yeah. positions where you like got to stretch out your legs yeah. and fucking open out. Like there, there used to be a position that I could, if things were getting real bad and I couldn't come, I could get, because I've broke my ankles so many times. So I can't, if I get on my knees and flatten my ankles too much, it like my feet, the blood switches off. And my feet go, go numb, and then I can't use my ankles. So I get on a couch where I can put my feet under the back of the sofa, and st- and I got to have my feet as far, my knees as far apart as possible. And I arch my whole shit, so I'm like doing like a fucking limbo on my knees, like I'm going under a fucking six inch fucking pole. And then you suck it, and I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking look, I'm like pretty much arched over, and it's like some weird. And then I got to think of like weird shit yeah. in my head while someone's blowing me. It's like a real fucking well, mission. There's like, that, like there's, that thing. there's always like those things like where like like when you're like, okay, I need to come already. Like yep. what's the thing? 
that fucking like you do to expedite that. Like mine is in particular, like I, I have to like look at feet or like suck a titty. I yeah. like I like vision myself old and fat and fucking like a twenty one year old. Okay. Yeah, that's I'm really a talker nice. now. Yeah. Oh you oh you're vocal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah I say go. some weird shit. Weird well, shit? Weird like shit, what what do you mean like by put weird? Put a shrimp shit. on the bobby or what are you saying? Dude? No, I don't tell jokes. <laughs> I, I, like, I knew either. one. Oh, well, now, now, because there was a time where when I got sober, then I started fucking premature. Oh God, that's like, embarrassing. So now I'm like trying to hold on to the jizz because I'm like, oh, and I'm like, fuck, man. Like, if I smoke weed right now, I have total control because the weed was the last one to go. Yeah. And the weed fucked me for a couple months where I was just like, I'll pop super quick, and I'm like, but the other thing was because I'm sober, I'll just fuck you again. So yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty minutes. Make yeah, up yeah. for it. I'll eat some pussy. Till my dick gets hard again, so you don't even know that <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking bad. Yeah. As far as you know, I'm just a fucking. I'm, I'm a, a giver. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But now that I have total control again, because I can pop when I want to pop, I can keep it. I can keep it for as long as I want. And I'm like, okay, you want it now? Okay, I'll give it to you now. But then the because now it's like I'm only fucking one person, and I'm not trying. To, I'm not. I don't want to fuck a bunch of people anymore. I don't have to run. I fuck to run, dude. Like I'm an addict of everything. Because I run. I want to get high. I want to do drugs. I want to drink. I want to do Kratom. I want to do pills. Because I don't want to face whatever it is. that, it, that, that Whatever the original thing is. I've been running for so long about for so many things. Don't even know what it is. That anymore. I had to. That's my, my sobriety was so fucking hard, dude. I had to strip away every one of them. I had to get down to like. Oh, to get to my childhood and being molested. There was. I thought let's just get to that. It was like dude you've got so many more demons you have to get through. Yeah. Before you get to that one. So it was like, I was going to kill myself, dude. Like, really? couple t- Dude, I had a gun on the table. Every morning I had a gun on the table. A couple of times I put it in my mouth crying. And I thought of my kids. And I was like, you can't do it to your kids. Yeah. But that was like, there was a couple months there where I was like, I wake up, I put it on the table, and I go, why not? Yeah. Dude, you got to write a book, man. Yeah, yeah. you're fucking you're like, great. Dude, your fucking story is fucking. I made a video of one of them because I was like, if you don't kill yourself, this will be a good video. Because I thought, if you make it out of here and you get back on top and you're healthy and you're happy, you should play this video for people that are in the dark. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking inspirational, bro. I was out of shape and I fucking cry and put it in my mouth. So you're just like an addict in general. Like there's not like a certain thing. Right. Uh, and whatever you uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So I you always say. I mean, I, did I have a couple of favorites? Sure. Yeah. 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 But like, but, the, but when one when a favorite started to kill me, and a doctor would say, if you keep doing that, it's going to kill gonna you. Die. I would find another one. Favorite. You find another find favorite. Another like, favorite. I'm like, is ketamine bad? Yeah. No. What about what can, what can I? If take? I do kratom, will that give me a heart attack? No. Yeah. yeah. I hated kratom. Yeah. But I f- I found a way to love it. Yeah. I forced myself. Well, you were an addict at it. I forced myself to take it in a way where I was like, if you do enough and you do a zen and then you smoke a joint at the same time as the fucking do this, <laughs> yeah, that's there's right. this little thing where you go, mm, mm, that's warm. Yeah. That's close to what really is like, well, you know what was really good? Heroin was really good. Yeah. But then there's like the aftermath of getting it. It made like everyone I got it off was pretty fucked up too. But to me, when I finally got clear of everything, because the last one to go was sex. Yeah. When I got rid of the weed, I still fucked people because it was just like, I've got nothing else. I'm living, I'm divorced. I live in a house by myself. I've got a big, ass, big ass house, a pool. I'm like, S- everyone should just suck it. You know? Yeah. So I'm getting everybody to suck it. And I'm like, I wonder if that's got something to do with it too. Yeah. And I was like, let me not do that for a while. And the, within two days I was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, the that's, one. Yeah, Cause I was like, the- Okay, now I'm stinging. Like, now I'm... Because I was like, I kicked the weed. I was like, you got to fight it, dude. You can do this. When I kicked fucking everybody, I was freaking the fuck out. Yeah. I was like, I need someone to... I need someone to be here. I need someone to, like, wow. act like they care about me. Dude. Like, yeah. and it was the And it was, like, this, like, real obvious, like, siren going off. I'm like, dude, you're fucking sad and lonely like you need yeah. to fucking figure out how to love yourself dude yeah because this like this whole like somebody that pretends that they love you maybe they do love you but you don't love them you don't you respect them, them back in that right mindset. so this is fake this is all bullshit and yeah. you think you can fool yourself like you can't fool yourself you know you're lying to yourself yeah. yeah so then when i let it go i pray and i don't tell it to jesus no disrespect to what people that do, yeah. do but i pray to like this is the this is how i got it 
I'm, I'm praying every day and I'm trying to convince myself, just like I'm trying to convince myself to stay sober. I get on my knees. I actually get in a three point stance because somebody told me at, at one of somebody at a meeting, he's like, I get in a three point stance because after I pray, I get fired up. <coughs> and I was like, I fucking like that That's guy. That's good. So now I'm in a, th- I pray. And also my being on my knees hurts too much. So I get in my three, I get a three point stance. I pray. So I'm going to the ramp, right? And I'm going to skate with Tony and the boys. I'm not, I know I've got to do a trick today. So it's a little bit sketchy, especially at my age, pushing myself, it gets dangerous. So I get on my, I get on three point stance and I pray and I go, Hey God, I know I'm not supposed to ask for shit, but if you could keep me safe today, that'd be much appreciated. I don't feel like I'm being greedy. I'm just asking for some safety. I go to the ramp, I get knocked out and I've been knocked out twice snowboarding, like in the last three weeks before that I go out, out like proper out. I wake up and Tony's like, Hey man, where are you? And I'm like, because this has happened several, several times, times in my life where Tony Hawk is asking me where am I? Yeah. And I know that when he's asking me where I am, it's, he's asking me because I, I wasn't here. Yeah. And I go, fuck, I'm here to do a podcast. And he goes, yeah, yeah. You know what happened? I'm like, I got knocked out doing an Elliot Backside Smith grind, didn't I? And he goes, yeah, dude. And I go, fuck, how long was I out? He's like, like five minutes this time, dude. I'm like, fuck, man. And I'm like, okay. And he's like, you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, I'm ready to do the show. He's like, dude, you're not doing the show today. I'm like, why not? He's like, dude, I've been asking you for the last 20 minutes where you are. And you said you didn't know. You're, you're back now. Because we've got, we're, we're doctors of concussions. Yeah. Because yeah. we've dealt with dealt each with other. so much, yeah. And I go, fuck, that's not good. He goes, I know. And he's like, you good to drive? I'm like, yeah, give me a few minutes. And I'm not supposed to, but I'm, I'm, I know me. So I drive home. So I'm driving from San Diego back to LA. And a voice says to me, hey, Jason, kill yourself. And I go, dude, no, you know, and fuck off. And then the voice goes, no, seriously, man, enough's enough. Fucking kill yourself. And I'm like, wow, that's like a real clear one this time. Like, I really hear that voice. Like, it's not like a, it's not me. It's somebody else. And I'm like, no. And then it just whispers it the whole way home for, for two hours. Mm-hmm. Kill yourself. And I'm like, this is, this is a bad concussion. You know, because I've had concussions where if I have a shower the rain, or it rains, I cry. Just the water pouring down makes yeah. you cry. I've had it. I've been knocked out like 30 times, dude. So it's no, it's no like new, new thing yeah, to yeah. me. I'm like, you got knocked out hard. Something's telling you to kill yourself. Yeah, man. Like it's depression. When you hit your head, it's de- you get depressed. It loose, this yeah. is part of it. So, and I'm, and I'm driving home and I'm thinking to myself, cool, man. I pray to you for, to keep me safe. And now this voice is telling me to fucking kill myself because I got fucking knocked out. How the fuck is that keeping me safe? But yeah, I guess I'll keep praying here. Fuck yeah, man. Nice doing business with you. So now I'm talking to two people at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) I go to bed fucking pretty bitter about things. I wake up in the morning and uh, this other voice says to me, like, uh, you know, take it easy. You'll be all right. You'll get out of this. And I go... Okay, I hear you. And I think, I, and this doesn't mean if it's real or not. I go to myself, the, the voice that tells me to kill myself is the demon. You could call it a devil if you want to. And the voice that says, I'm going to be all right, just, stay, just take care of yourself, go in the cold plunge, you're going to get out of this, is God. Angel That's demon. my decision. That's mm. the decision that I made. But now those two voices... From to, to right now, I hear him. Yeah. The the God voice, I listen to. It's common sense, and I've never had it. Like, have I had it? I just couldn't hear it. That's a possibility. So it's louder now. It's it, fucking you can hear it now. clear as fucking yeah, yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey man, like, do you want to go out tonight? Like, fucking strippers want you to go out and 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 hang out, and and it'll be like, do you really think it's worth that? Like, if you get sleep and go and skate tomorrow, maybe film some shit, and I go, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Or, hey, man, Zens are bad for you. Like, you, I feel like having one. And that voice will go, or you could not do them for the rest of your life and be a little bit healthier. I mean, do you not want to live as healthy as you possibly can so that you can keep doing the things that you're doing at your age? And I go, well, yeah, of course I want to do that. Well, then there you go. That's your decision. So these things now, when they come up, those demons, those choices, like some like comedy shows now, chicks like, hey, uh, sign my ass. Like, is, I'll come to your room and suck your dick. And I'm like, yeah, and then tell my girlfriend, and then she leaves me. And then well, you're growing I'm up. Back to where I was you're, in the first place. You're growing up, dude. Right. So God now, damn, dude. So now I do believe in 
not so, a, a, a higher power. Yeah, a higher and, power and, and I talk to it on the daily, and it gives me wisdom, and it's never let me down. It gives me ch- like a choice where I could go one or the other, and I and I know which one's telling me the story, and I, if I want to, like every now and then, like hey man, eat a fucking chocolate cake. You haven't had any dairy for like fucking six months. And I'm like yeah, I could, and it's like you could, but tomorrow, like you want to yeah. be a little leaner, you want to go to the gym, lift some weights with me. Yeah. So yeah, now when you're a bad boy, you just you're a bad boy for bread or carbs, right? You just kind of Yeah, but I don't even but I can't I don't even do that. Yeah. Because I keep because it's like you can do that and it's and you can be fine tomorrow, but I am hungry. Like I want to be the yeah. best comedian in the world. Mm-hmm. I want to be something special. And it's and it's every little piece. If I do, if I if I cut a corner, well then that's one less day before I get there. Yeah. And I want it. I, and I know what it takes to be something good. So you feel the most present than you ever have. I'm possessed by it. Mm-hmm. I, I need it more to than it. anything. Because yeah. yeah. I always, I always thought this like people that like some people have like a specific drug they'll do, and then you know what I mean. Then they won't do anything else. That's like an okay. They're a cocaine addict, or they're. You know, I'm addicted alcoholic. to happy. Yeah, you're addicted. So I feel like a lot of people they're just addicted to escaping themselves. Because there is right. a part where you were saying like you have these demons, you have these things. And did you feel like when you were using substances that it. Kind oh, of numb that a it's little a, bit. Yeah, it's a constant chase. Yeah. It's a, here's one, uh, going in the dark, scary to go in the dark. If you stay in the dark long enough, your eyes adjust, and then you see what's around mm-hmm. you. That's how I see it now. Like, I, I, I go, ooh, I don't want to go there. Oh, man, I fucking said something stupid. I should call that person and apologize for my actions and that. And I'm like, or I could just let it slide. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. And I'm like, sack the fuck up yeah. and call the person, even if it's a little thing, and be like, hey, man. I shouldn't have reacted that way. I'm a little, you mean I was a little fucking tired or whatever and, and I apologize and I didn't mean it like that. And, yeah. and they could be like, I didn't even fucking catch it. Or they could go, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah. To me, it's like, I want to help people. I want to make everybody around me, their life better because I'm alive. Yeah. That's, I want to bring joy to people and I want to be, I want to be happy and I want to be in love. Yeah. I want to be in love with my friends, my girlfriend and my life, my family, mm-hmm. my dogs, like I love flowers, I like the sun. You know what I mean? Like I wanna, I like. There's things now that I t- I took for granted, where I'm like, I, I, yeah, the moonlight is great, but a fucking a bunch of Molly and you sucking my dick while this chick eats my ass. Yeah, that's that's fun living. Too. Now I'm like, I want my girlfriend to go. Watch I want to go. Moon with me. Yeah, and that's it. And I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Me, that's enough. Uh, they, when my granddaddy was dying, he. Made everybody come see him one on one. He's like, I'm gonna die in my own house that I built. I'm not gonna go to the hospital and die in a nightgown. And he told me two things. And to this day, like it like changed my perspective, <coughs> like on shit like that. He told me, when you walk into a room, you have to know that the room got better. Not in a cocky sense, but in a sense you get to meet somebody and they get to meet you. And for a moment in time, whether it be a second, a day, a year, a month, you get to change the perspective and outlook on their life with your presence being there. It don't cost no amount of money just to be kind to somebody, yeah. just to make somebody's day a tad bit better. He said, leave them with a hug, a handshake, or a smile, and find them better. Leave them better than the way you found them. He goes, be somebody that rules. somebody wants to be stuck in an elevator with because nobody wants to be stuck in an elevator with a fucking asshole. Dude. And I'm telling you, just being, and it's all full circle. It's energy, right? If you put that shit yeah. out, it's like the Lion King. Yeah. It comes back yeah. forward, bro. It's like you got to live. It's the three six nine theory that Nikola Tesla used to yeah, do. Yeah, I know. Write it down, say it, say it, and write yeah. it down again. Like it's dude, just crazy, dude. I fell in love with my girlfriend because I realized that everywhere she goes, when she meets somebody, she makes like we went to some fucking. She never meets a stranger. She makes people happy. That it's like she's like complimented this lady in a fucking incense store about her hair and then the person that came in that was her manager, she made her happy and then she like befriended them and it's got their names. It's a fucking beautiful thing. And I was like. I don't, I never, I've never done that. I try to fight I, yeah. a guy because he had wheels on his shoes. That's you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 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 You know? Which, one, which one is a wrong. better one to fucking pick? Like, you gotta be <coughs> shitting me, but it's also habit. Like, we grew up watching tough you know what I mean? Like, I grew up, I, why do I have an accent? I've been living in America longer than, like, in a talking fashion than I've been in Australia. Why do I sound Australian? Because I grew up there, I dude. I grew up in a place where my dad fucked anything that moved. He fought anybody that fucking arced up at him. That's where I, like, I grew up where it's like, watch your fucking back. Like, if you look at me funny, I'm like, right. I, I, I dig my back footing because I'm ready to throw some shit. And you could be like, hey, man, I'm a huge fan. I go, 
oh, yeah, thank yeah. God. But you were looking at me funny, and I grew up thinking, you if you look at me yoga. funny, I'm, you're not getting a fucking cheap one on me, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, I will fucking get you Jason, first. That, that's another thing, though, like a testament to, like, one thing I'm saying, like, with your comedy and shit like that, like, like you're from that shit, right? This ain't pre-written, pre position This ain't something you storyboard, come on here in a podcast, tell. You're living what you're saying. And you've just had a complete 180 of who you are and finally, dude, that shit's inspiring. It's inspiring. Like, you need to write a fucking book. Yeah, Seriously. bro. Like, yeah. sitting in this podcast, this is the best podcast It's stuck with done. me. Everything's this, stuck like, with me. <laughs> just, like, I mean, like, like, no, I mean, like, this is the most, like, I'm like, God damn, like, Yo, you got layers to that onion, old son, and you're cutting them, and you're finding your yeah. shot, and it's fucking good to see you. Yeah, it's making me proud of you, dude. Yeah. I mean, fuck it's yeah, stuck with me, nah. That common sense. I mean, sense she gave thing, me goddamn goosebumps. That, that, I like how I like so like I like like what really caught me was how you said, but it's common sense, and that's something that we all have, but we fight it because yeah. of the yeah. fucking right. stubborn size. It's it's yeah. like the temptation or like that you hard get living. You caught in the game, dude. The fucking yeah. Instagram, the fucking popularity of your friends or your or a chick you want to fuck. Like you get caught in this thing where you go, well, no, uh, right now maybe it would be better just just pop and fucking get her number when it's like stop step back you know like what is what do you really want who are you because that's the other thing like i think i really want this because i don't really know who i am because i've just been running you know i think i'm this fucking big badass fucking watch out ellis will fucking do it he's fucking crazy like he'll fight anybody and i'm like i'm not that guy i don't want to hurt anybody i'm scared dude i'm scared to fight I just want to love people like that son and puppy dogs. That's who I really am. Yeah. But this thing I built because I'm terrified. I built this to scare you away. Yeah. Because I, if you if I got you on your heels, then I've got the upper hand because I think if I don't, you're going to fucking do something to me because that's what happened to me when I was a child. Somebody took something from me that I'll never get back. And, I'm, and I built this to protect that little innocent Jason. That is really who I am. I'm still just like, eh, you know what I mean? I yeah. like stuff. Like, hey, fun. You know what I mean? Like, I want to have fun. I want to laugh. I, I don't want to, like, let's fuck. You know what I mean? Let's but you come from a place where life calluses you over and you got to have a guard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. now you're older and you've lived it and done it. It's crazy that you're still fucking alive, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, seriously. I mean, in yeah. itself. And then for you to have the wherewithal and, you know, that, dude, to quit cold turkey and to turn that shit around, you you know, I don't think you quite understand. Like, dude, that's fucking power. impressive. Oh, right? power. I do that's understand. That's fucking impressive. Like, you dude, don't know how hard like, it was, bro, dude. Because you were, you were on the whole other the, spectrum it was of that end. shit. Yeah. Bro, you, I mean, I, I know a handful of motherfuckers just about as crazy as you, and they ain't walking around with the sensibility that you got right now. So I'm, I'm telling you, dude, you need to ride it a, a book. Be yeah, you're oh, better. You know, you, you know I got a book, right? I did not know that. So yeah, I don't know. Do did you, you do the research? I told you to do the well, research. I, yeah. I had a New York Times best-selling book. Well, what's it about? It, what, what is it? It's it? about my life, an autobiography. But it's from the it's from before, the dark days. It's bef it's before I had a book where it was a New York Times bestseller and, to, uh, bestseller and it's an autobiography that Tully wrote. I just told him the stories about my childhood and fucking strippers and doing coke <laughs> yeah. up until my first MMA fight and my radio career. Still, not sober. Like That's I when, when you then wrote I had, the book, then I had a sober. second book on what's cool, how to shave your neck hair and wear a chain, like how to get laid, which was born like be a pro skateboarder and have an Australian accent. That's how you get fucking laid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, book yeah. is a fucking lie. <laughs> yeah. The third book yeah. was like I published it by myself, and it was about my gay era, where I'm in the middle of like what I think is like who I am. But it's not. It's like the full extent of the demons. Like, I got money, I got fame, and my partner at the time is like, we should have an open relationship. So this book is about me coming on anything that moved. Yeah. And nobody bought it because it is fucking gross. Yeah. I actually have that book. So now, now this, if people, like, now people know that know that, are like, now, like, that you've turned it all around and you have a whole different perspective, like, cause I was like, I will never write another book again. But now, yeah. because of how I see things, what I think is to be clearly now, now I am considering doing another one. I would, you should, yeah, bro. Yeah, absolutely. I think you got a very powerful story it that seems people like... need to get. And vibe, dude. You can feel it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I love that, but it's because I mean, it's genuine. But I wasn't right, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the third one, my, I was like, man, I don't understand why people aren't getting it. I'm like, you don't, <laughs> you don't believe in yourself and you don't even catch it like yeah. you're so high all the time that you're like i'm fine people are like man what's wrong i'm like what do you mean what's wrong what the fuck's wrong with you motherfucker i'm fucking great <laughs> and it's like That's you're not dude and i'm like i don't get it yeah i i'm 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 rich 
I got I got a fucking Mercedes Benz. Nice. I got a fucking house with a pool. I can fuck anybody I want. I have like four, five, six, seven sums. Right. I've had fucking bing, 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 bing. Fucking up. How much happier could you get? Right. So you were writing from the ego. It sounds like those first fuck two books it. that they were just coming brag, from. Like it was a brag high book. Your life. But a brag book where in this world, bragging about dudes eating your ass is not yeah. a brag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Typing that yeah. out. But I'm people, people were like, oh, I don't know if I need to read the next chapter of that. Yeah. Because I just didn't know, you know, because that's the other thing. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm not gay anymore. I just don't want to do stuff like that anymore. <laughs> and no offense to gay people. I'm still got your back. Not that much of a back, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I've, got, big, bottom, I've got yeah. gay, lesbian, trans people's <clears throat> backs. I just... I'm not interested in having sex in that fashion anymore. Yeah. That was a part of my running, a part of it. Like, same as, like, you know, if someone's like, hey, do you want to cut ourselves and suck the blood out? I'd be like, look, that's cool. That's I'm happy for you, but I don't have any interest in that. Like, yeah. I, I got a girlfriend. I love her. I'll make love with her. We could say some weird shit to each other. Yeah. If she wants me to choke her the fuck out, maybe I will. But yeah. I don't know. But it's not. We'll see. It's not about. <laughs> it's not about that anymore. No. I don't have this urge to one up myself anymore. I'm s super content. Like I'm super. You're happy, dude. I fuck, You're dude. You're fucking happy. I, I, I could cry. Yeah. Tears of joy, dude. No more sorrow. Like I'm just so happy yeah, that I dude. made it to a point where I fucking love my day. Yeah, dude. I love the people I'm around. Because you find out real quick, you might be surrounded by others, but you're always alone and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you know dude, yeah. You're always surrounded by others, but you're always alone. But like, I got fucking you, real friends got, that care about me got, now, man. You got peace now, bro. Well, yeah, because you then you're peace. peace within yourself. It doesn't yeah. matter. You're not, then, then you're never alone. Then That's you're it, fucking, bro. you're solid in yourself, and then you just draw in that energy. I love it. Yeah. Well, look, we're going to end it on that high note. Yeah, let's do no, it. I like that. Uh, where can the people find you? Where can they look you up at? Oh, where, where are you touring at? What we got? At Wolfmate on Instagram. And then uh, all my tour dates is thejasonellis.com. And then I got like a skateboard company, fathergrind.com, where I teach old people how to skate. Like it's a, it's, it's a skateboard. I have a video skateboard tutorial, like 10 different uh, sections of it on how to learn how to skate in a way. If you're a little older, you want to get back into skating or you want to skate with your kids or whatever, or you're just Hell older yeah. and you want to start skating. It's not about doing fucking kickflips and all the impossibles. This is like, there's pads. You wear pads. I teach you to carve. I teach you to fall. And you can drop in on mini ramps and you can carve little bowls. If you watch my videos, you can get to that level and have fun skateboarding. No... TikTok fucking you look at look at what I did. Didn't you get it with Ian and he yeah. broke his shoulder or something like that? He did it after that. Okay, after. Okay. Yeah. He, he needed to take another he, class. We taught him how to drop in and then we did another podcast and then he went out there and skated by himself and I was like, Hey, I I made sure it's on video. I said, Hey, Ian, take it easy. And then he went out there and dropped in again without us and separated his shoulder. Nice. Because you're supposed to do what I said, take it easy. But that's the other thing. When you get good enough, you get cocky, you get cocky yeah. and you want to keep going. If that's what you want to do, then fucking... Ian turned into a fucking eight-year-old, dude. Like, he's staying at my house. I love he's that like, motherfucker. He's like, Jason, Jason, do you think I can drop in on this ramp today? And I'm like, no. You're not ready. But but what about... Uh, no. No, you can't. But come on, man. I'm like, dude, no. Just calm down and wait. And it's yeah. like, I'm talking to a fucking toddler. <laughs> like, he's out of his fucking mind hyped on skating, but... Him That's skating good, and That's being good. so pumped on it, I just love. Like I, I hold myths through people now. Like I train people how to fight. I'm not the greatest boxing coach in the world, but if you don't know how to fight, I can teach you how to fight. Yeah. And I teach some of my friends for free. I also like do it for money as well. But if you want to learn and you're and you're and you want to put in the effort, that's you. You can pay me. That's cool. I like money. Mm. But I'm getting satisfaction out of you. Catching Rolling. that you're going, yeah. you're like, did I just do that? I'm like, you did just do that. And they're like, yeah. oh, I'm fucking kicking ass. I'm like, you can kind of kick ass a little bit now. Yeah. And they're pumped. And that's like, Rewarding. that's me giving back, yeah, man. Dude. I just, that's Fuck the joy yeah. I get. Yeah. I there that. you go. Yeah. That, yeah. Human beings that. learn Human something. Beings yeah. Learn yeah. something, man. Well, look, that'll conclude this episode of the My Drunk Uncle's podcast. I'm give a shout out to Jason Ellis for coming through. Bobby, how, how, another hour going. Uh, you're in tour in Colorado. We're going. Up we're finally hitting the road. We'll be yeah. everywhere. We'll be in Colorado, Nashville, Mississippi, we're doing Milwaukee. Doing it. They're doing big things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jessica yeah. Mezzatana, she's going to be out coming out on the road with me through the Florida run. And uh, you run the shows here in Austin. You're just killing the game. Now, you've yeah, been here two I'm months. i got seven shows you're already running, dude. Yeah, you're absolutely. Fucking awesome. yeah. Son of a bitch. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, that's been the episode. Thank y'all for coming out. Make sure to get your cat spayed and neutered. Shout out Bob Barker. Yeah. Yeah.